The movement was begun by a scientist who discovered, quite by accident, the signals being sent. Please understand, they are safe as long as they are not discovered. They want their weapons. You have to wake yourself up. Look out for Charlie. I want that son of a bitch dead. I want him dead. So over the last day or so, I went back and I was re-examining some of the burst communication that we were dealing with in, uh, I think, two videos ago. And I decided to check out one particular one, and it was this one. And I'm going to play it for you. It's only a split second long, the whole thing. And you can see what's going on here. There is nothing. Then there's a burst of energy. There's communication, compacted communication in there, and then another burst of energy, and it stops. That's what it appears to me as, completely. Split second long. So what I did was, I just isolated this area, just where the information was, and got to work. I slowed it down, and I wanted to see what was inside this. And the first couple stages are interesting. So let's check out uh, stage two here. Strange hum, right? Now you have to keep in mind through this whole video that this was literally a split second long, like a hundredth of a second. Let's go on to another stage. This is the same thing. It's been, uh, frequencies have been removed and it has been boosted up. Now within that, you can begin to hear communication. I'm going to go to a different stage. That's communication. What is a random audio recorder with no wireless capabilities at all, no antenna, no nothing, doing picking up a burst of information like that? And why would it be there? So let's give a listen to one of the final stages of this. Now, keep in mind that I recorded this with just a recorder by a fuse box. It was near the fuse box when I received this burst communication. That's it. I don't think the fuse box had that big of an effect on the situation. It was going to pick it up either way. But uh, let's listen to it. Now let's let's loop one part. Let's loop one part right here. That is human communication. That's language and it's English. Those are syllables. It's not clicking and popping. It's not aliens. That's human communication. Now after working on this for hours and hours and hours, I kind of got a feel for it and I think there's a couple parts that sound like they actually say something. It sounds like here, it sounds like, says he don't like him, so take him down. That's what it sounds like. Says he don't like him, so take him down. So I'll loop that. And then here, it sounds like, if I have to go out there or down there, I can stay in Toronto. There's stay. Right there is stay in Toronto. Stay in Toronto. Or, it's something tomorrow. 
Either way, it shouldn't be here. It's, and then here it says, if I go down there. If I go down there. So this is a nefarious burst communication. That's what it is. So, again, if somebody is hearing something at all, it's because they want you to hear it. This communication happens so fast that it can't be picked up with the human ear. You have to slow it down. You have to figure out what's inside of it and basically decrypt the message. Now, let's listen to a different version of this. I made a couple different versions. So let's check this out. <coughs> Now, it's a little bit garbled. The part where this version shines is right here. I want you to hear this. Where I said before, it sounded like uh, if I have to go down there, I can stay in Toronto or leave here tomorrow, wherever they say. I'm going to loop it right now. Stay here tomorrow. So to say that this isn't human communication, you know, because there's a lot of people that come and say it's, you know, aliens. Could it be aliens? Or could it be demons? It sounds like people planning and having to do something. And it sounds like something nefarious. Because when you go through this stuff, there's never anything positive talked about. It's always nefarious. So that's what we have here. In a split-second burst communication that was picked up by an audio recorder, this is the message that was hidden inside. I took some, some different clips of that and tweaked them out differently, each one. I want to play you a few of those. Let's go over uh, the first one. I'll loop it. Now, it sounds to me like they found out or something. I, I'm not positive. But either way. Let's check out this one. I'll loop it. Let's go to the third one. And now here is one more version of the final that I want to play you. Okay, that's the part where I thought it said, says you don't like them, so take them down. And then it says something. I cannot figure out that part. And then here's the, uh, if I go down there, I can stay in Toronto or leave here tomorrow. Listen. Much clearer. Much clearer. And it's clearly communication. So it isn't just electrical interference or what any of these shills and assholes would tell you out there. 
it is something else. You have to keep reminding yourself that this was in a split second blip that anybody would look at as just some electrical anomaly that happened to a recorder. We'll play it one more time. So that's what we have in that split second communication. Completely another form of communication going on and in my next video I want to get into the the pebble sounds the scratching sounds that these electrical signals make and make very real sounding sounds that can trick anybody thinking a pebble a rock is thrown at them scratching in their walls this can be outside inside it mainly happens in cars in homes and on top of homes on doors windows but it can happen anywhere and I want to get into that next, so stay tuned. Look out for Charlie.